Timeline interactions are great interactions in e-learning. They're so easy to show the history of a topic or a process from start to finish. Hi, I'm Jeff, and in this video I will show you how to build a timeline interaction in Articulate Storyline under five minutes. So let's go into a slide, and I've got a default slide here, and I'm going to start adding some uh, an area for my timeline here. I'm going to right click that. I want to make that 540 by 260. There we go. I'm going to remove the outline and send that to back. Perfect. I'm going to put my text in the right spot. There we go. I'm actually going to go with a darker background. I think that looks nice. This needs to align to the bottom. Perfect. Text should be white nice and clean now insert the timeline creating a, a basic shape here align top align center oops center of this perfect and now i'm going to change the look and feel of that nice and light color and weight of five so now my items for my timeline shape, not too big. Again, format that. There we go. Nice fill. The weight's going to be five as well. It's a tad big, but well, it'll do for this demo. And now I'm going to add some uh, states to it. To actually this item and zoom in on that so I'm going to select it zoom in edit states duplicate it uh, hover and I'm going to fill that with the same color I'm going to add a down state as well for the mobile users and I'm going to set a visited state with a nice check mark in it using the L shape for that around with this I'm gonna rotate it excellent outline like this pretty happy I'm gonna just copy that into these specific areas one at the bottom and don't be too worried about the spacing because you're just gonna select them all, select align, distribute vertically, and voila, your timeline here is done. Now what I wanna do is create some layers for content for all of these items. So this is actually the uh, base layer, timeline interaction, perfect. And I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna create some layers here for each of these sections. So new layer, and what I'm going to do is turn off the information from the base layer. So I don't want to see the text boxes from that layer because I'm going to add my own. And I'm going to copy them from this layer into this one. I'm actually going to call this item one. And add the title here as well. Item one. Now, as you can see, I've hidden the text uh, boxes from the base layer and I've got my content here. Now I'm going to copy these with the duplicate selected layer. And as you can see, when I duplicate something, all happens, text boxes come back, uh, but I can easily turn them off again. Call them item two, change this item two so you can see during preview. I'm going to add, go ahead and copy uh, all five layers so you don't have to wait for that. And voila, I've done that. So I've got all my five layers that uh, align to my items here. Now let's actually connect them with some triggers. So select the first uh, item in the timeline, select show layer and select item one. And do the same thing for the other items. So I went ahead and did that for all five items as you can see. 
Now let's take a preview and see what it looks like. So I hit preview and as you can see I can hover and I can just go through that in random order. So perfect. This is how you can build a timeline interaction. Super simple. Hope you like this video and uh, happy building. Bye bye.